This is something I learned from Brandon Fouché. Um, when, <laughs> no, should I be giving away the secrets? I don't know. I don't know. Um, he doesn't trust me. I totally understand not trusting and not wanting to surrender because he was a shelter dog and at some point he probably surrendered and was hurt. So there's actually something um, well, I'll get into all this. Maybe I should charge inf charge for this information right now. But uh, there's there are personality types that can be built on top of that actual wound, emotional wound, which is the wound that happens when you surrender and then you get hurt, and then that causes a a wound, like a, a negative experience that causes a wound. Then you build a personality on top of that, and um, I understand that that personality and so um, the question is like if you ask him to submit to me that's that's not he's gonna fight that for his life he's gonna fight for his life and so that's not a situation I want to put him in I do want to get respect from him but um, I don't want to trigger that fighting for his life and then you know like I just don't need to go there because it's not about that um, but something that I learned from Brandon Fouché is for, for instance, not, I don't know if he actually told me this, but I, I've seen him do it and I learned from his example, definitely. And so you bring him, so a dog like him, so he doesn't trust me, he doesn't want anything to do with me, so I have no problem with that. If I tried to force me, him to trust me, that would just make everything worse. So I'm not, I'm not, I have no, I understand that. Um, but all of a sudden, if I bring him around to other dogs, Here's what happens. He's alone now, and he's feeling vulnerable. Now he looks at me in a different way. It switches everything. It's like, will you help me? Like, hey, can you help me? <laughs> you know? Um, and so then, then he'll see over time that I'm here to help him. Then once I get the trust, the trust and the respect will come gradually and together. Um, but if it, let's just say he gets really comfortable with me, everything's great. Then he starts to get out of line and disrespect me or, or, or act in a way that makes me see like, oh, he thinks that I'm actually some, someone that I'm not, which is a, like a, you know, a not respectable person. Then I'll do some sort of dominant thing to get the respect later. But chances are, I probably won't even have to do that. We'll just build the respect and the trust at the same time. But um, putting him with other dogs makes him look at me differently. And then I learned that. That's that's like, you know, Brandon Fouché opened my mind to like way out of the box thinking. Um, I always thought it had to be like one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I'm going to help this dog, me and him. But once I understood that you could set up situations in the environment to actually create things that you want, I mean, it's crazy. Like the like I was like oh my gosh you know like you just opened my mind to a whole new understanding of everything so um, so that's it and uh, pretty much thank you to Brandon Fouché always for for helping me get past those uh those problems I was having